Going into this season, um, I was still in the process of negotiating with my ski sponsor from last year. I was talking to a lot of different ski companies, big ski companies, and really struggling with the, the concept of getting the skis that I really wanted um, for pipe skiing because the, the level of pipe skiing has gotten so ridiculous now that we're doing so much difficult double corks, you know, switch double corks in the, in the pipe, taking off of this vertical surface that you kind of need a more powerful, you know, higher tech ski. And, and uh, the ski companies have gotten away with the last couple of years with um, just building, you know, middle of the road skis because when you're hitting jumps and rails all day and you're thrashing your skis, you don't really need a super high quality ski. So, um, so then talking to Matt at for Forefront, it was just like he was like, yeah, you know what? I I understand that. Like I'm gonna embrace this and we're gonna we're gonna start this project and and that'll be the first project of you being on our team. If you want to be on our team, is we're gonna build you some skis that you think work and then we're gonna go from there. So then we just got into the white room and started. You know, playing with things, putting extra layers of fiberglass, a little extra camber, things like that. Going into working with Forefront, you know, sort of the getting off the ground, the, the big concept was when we start working together, we're going to we're gonna build the best skis, something that I could ski the half pipe on and be totally confident the whole time. You know, we'll put a little extra camber here, we'll make them a little stiffer here, but not too stiff, and, and sort of just played around with the different fiberglasses and different resins. We had a few skis just absolutely break right off the bat, which is what, which was what happened when you're ski testing. So, um, but yeah, the fact that we had skiable, contest-ready skis by X Games was just amazing because it was within a month of, of starting the project. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Last year I had a decent season coming off of an injury. Two years ago I tore my ACL and missed the whole season. So last year I had a couple podiums, won the, uh, the European Open, but mostly lower level stuff. I hadn't had any, um, any big results, two tours or X Games last year. So then going into this year, kind of the same story. I kept uh, having really good runs in practice and, and feeling confident going into the, into the contest, but just not having things line up for me. You know, first two do tours, I got sixth and 11th. Grand Prix, I got sixth. And then going into X Games, everything just kind of finally locked into place. You know, it was a long process of getting to there. And then finally, I just got, got confident enough on my skis and, and uh, the right mental attitude and just landed, landed the best run I could do. Yeah, I definitely have a different lifestyle than um, what you would say is the average for an action sports athlete. You know, I have a wife and a baby at home waiting for me, and um, you know, it's it's not it's not the norm, but it's just something. It's just the way my life turned out, and, and that's you know, it's awesome. I embrace it. Just to finish my runs and ski right down to my family, my my, my best people, and, and say hello. Like, how's it going? Pretty crazy. This is 21-year-old David Wise coming to us by way of Reno, Nevada. Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't really excited to really feast my eyes on this particular ongoing. David Wise switch double right off the top. The first big switch double that we've seen so far. There's the right side 900. Look at the amplitude he is boasting. Left and right side, huge 900s. There's the alley -oop. flat spin, 540. He comes into the double court, 1260 at the bottom. And Wise says, yes. One, one, to my feet. Let's hear it for Show me some numbers. And the poles go up in the air. Here's a guy who has so much amplitude, he can do double grabs and make it look easy. That is the name of his game. Unbelievable stuff.